Hello, my name is Jeffrey. I am Andrea Kelly. We are Cougar Anchors. I'm Ramirez. We are your Cougar Anchors. Happy Friday. Today's day is Friday, September 25th. We will now have a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in Elizabeth, liberty and justice for all. We hope that you are all having a great fourth week of school. Students, make sure you are logging into SIS every day to see your grades. SIS is on your student portal and gives you a real-time look at your grades for each class. You can click into the class and see a description of each assignment. We are heading into our midterm weeks, and everyone will receive a midterm progress report soon. So make sure you are keeping up with your grades. If you see something missing or forgot to send something in, reach out to your teacher and get your work in. Again, make sure you are checking your grades every morning in homeroom. Greetings, parents and guardians. Please be advised that Congress Middle School will be administrating district wide fall diagnostic assessment for all students. Students will be expected to test regardless if they are virtually learning or brick and mortar. Please see the testing window dates and video so that you may support your child at home. Middle school fall district diagnostic, October 5th to October 23rd. Grades six through eight ELA, six through eight math and algebra one. Students on campus will need devices to test. Students who remain distant will test from home. The after school program will meet in the media center at 4.15 p.m. You will have to be completed an online registration and received approval prior to attending. Thank you. Teachers, would you like to be part of our cheer committee? The cheer committee is in the school hospitality committee. We're looking for volunteers to assist with bringing cheer to the staff here at Congress Middle School. Students, please make sure your parents have filled out the survey. You must fill this out on your portal prior to coming to school. Our school schedule has changed. On my left, you'll see our class schedules. Do you recall not long ago when you were one? Make sure you have time for all your classes. For yours and mine's protection, please remember to wear your mask. Remember only when you're in fourth period and you're actually eating your lunch, are you allowed to remove your mask. Once you're done eating, please put it back on. Hello. My name is Dr. Grice, and I'm the AP over curriculum here at Congress Middle School. Parents and students, it is my job in this video to explain to you how the learning is going to take place here at Congress Middle School as your students begin to make their way back to the building. Now, we are very aware that many of you are still keeping your students at home. What we have done is we have kept everybody's schedule as is. So your student's schedule will remain the same as it was in distance learning. Now if your student returns to the building and if their teacher is still teaching from remote learning, we will have learning labs set up where your students will go to every day in order to directly connect into the teacher's classroom. Also, parents, please be aware that due to our social distancing, we are only able to keep a certain amount of students in the classroom at one time. So, if there are more students than there are allowable desks in a classroom, we will make sure that those students are in a room and able to tune in via the computers. We will also have teachers in these learning labs where the students will be, and the same student will not be the one every day who is taken out of the class due to overload. Okay, so just so you know, your student may once in a while be asked to work from the learning lab due 
to our seating constraints in regards to how many students are physically in the classroom. We do have teachers in those learning labs and we are also offering tutoring in the morning time. So you may get a call to let you know that we will have morning tutorial. Our before and after school program will also begin. It begins on the 22nd. It is a free before and after school program. There will be transportation, but that does not begin until two weeks after the program begins. The program in the afternoon is Monday through Thursday from 415 to 545, and the morning time is from 745 until 845. Again, it is free of charge. Evenings are only Monday through Thursday. Mornings are Monday through Friday. In addition, parents, as you can see, it is very important that your child brings their school device with them to and from school as well as their charging cord. Also, parents, please make sure each evening those computers, devices, iPads are put in to a charging space, whether it's plugged into their room, plugged in on the counter in the kitchen, wherever it might be, but they do need to charge those every single evening. Parents, in order to ensure safety, the district has given the guidelines that parents must let the school know prior to sending their children back to the school. So if you have selected distance learning for your child, and if you plan on at the end of, let's say, the first nine weeks, sending your child back to school, the school does need to know a week in advance. If you would like to send your child back to school and give the notice, please call Mr. Zittner at 374-5608. That's Mr. Zittner, 374-5608, if you're planning on sending your student back to school. That is for the parents who selected distance learning for this first week back. Again, as soon as you realize that you wanna send the student back, please contact Mr. Zittner. The same goes for parents who would like to take their students out of the building. If for some reason you're growing uncomfortable with the situation, um, you can also opt to have your child go to distance learning from in-person learning. And again, just please notify Mr. Zittner at the number 374-5608. Everyone, let's have a wonderful beginning of the year. We are very excited to see the kids back at the school, but we also, like you, are very concerned with safety and just want to make sure that we're all healthy and happy while we're back. Everyone, have a great day. My cool cats and kittens. This is Miss Taylor just reminding you of our new uh, breakfast and lunch criteria. This lovely cafeteria, as you remember, it will not be the same. I'm here with Mr. Tyree, our cafe manager, and we're going to explain to you how breakfast and lunch will run. Breakfast will be brought to your classroom each morning. So when you get off the bus or your parents drop you off, or even if you walk to school, you will report directly to your classroom and your breakfast will be there. During that time, that's the only time you will remove your mask, have your breakfast, throw away your own trash in the garbage can for a quick pickup. Lunch, lunch will also look a little different. Unfortunately, guys, because of the virus, we cannot all sit together in our lovely cafeteria at this time. But what we will do is we will be bringing your lunch directly to your classroom each afternoon during your fourth period class. Your teacher will take account every morning as to whether or not you want hot or cold lunch, and then you will make your decision, and during your lunch time, your lunch will be coming to you. Again, that's the only time you'll be able to take your mask off, you'll have your lunch, and then you'll put your mask back on and clean up your area. Our job is to make sure that everyone is safe, and we need you to do your part as well. So when you come back, guys, unfortunately, we just can't sit together, but soon we will be back together again. Until then, let's go, my cool cats and kittens. I'm looking forward to a healthy breakfast and lunch Event. Please remember there's no school on Monday. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down. This is Mark Tony Ramirez. Have a great Cooler Friday.